Hello, today we'll talk about auto flow plugin that allows you to create a very nice flows. So if you need to make a handoff for your developers or you want to present your project and show the flow and I'm talking about the user flow just to show what is happening once user make decision or any process is going on. Usually as you know designers are creating these beautiful arrows everywhere but how to do that arrow without any efforts. Yeah, I know that there is a feed jam as well that allows you to do that thing very easily, but what if you wanted to do the same thing inside the Figma? For that one, you can use Autoflow plugin. And this is semi-free plugin, which means that you have some limitations, and I'm talking about the time and some functionality. Then after you can upgrade it, so it's not totally free, just in case. But let me quickly show you how to create these beautiful things. All you need to do is just open the plugin. If you want to install it, just right click on the free space, free area, then go to the plugins and then manage plugins. And from here you can find the auto flow and add it. So the next thing you need to do, just select the frame you want to connect with and then select the second frame where it should go as you may see it's automatically created for you an arrow you can also change the entry points and output so if i if i if wanna say we want to change the location for the arrow from here from the bottom for the first one to the bottom of the second one we can simply change it here or do something like this sometimes it's impossible to do an arrow like this in that direction so plugin is automatically change it in a best way so i want to create something like this but coming here and then i'm selecting the first screen and the screen at the top and i want to make the same thing but on the top and let's say for uh, for the first case scenario we have a decision that user made and it's like to make a login but for the second one so all i need to do is just select an arrow and then add here registration which is showing that in the first case if the user decide to make a login then flow will continue in one direction but if user decided to click registration then we will show another flow so this auto flow plugin is a very powerful tool but as i told you you can use the same thing in a fit gem if i see any interest in that topic i can create a quick video tutorial how to do the same things in a fig gem Thanks all for watching that video, I hope that it was at least useful for you, please subscribe on my channel and see you in the next one.